Hey guys, so I am back with my August favorites and I'm not gonna ramble on about how fast August went because I went really fast and I'm just gonna get into talking about my favorite products for the month. My first favorite of the month is the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless 12 Hour Brightening Primer. And I got this through the 30% friends and family sale on the Tarte website because I wouldn't have otherwise bought it because it's kind of expensive on its own. And I was just curious to see how a, another high-end primer would compare to my beloved Stila One Step Correct. And I actually really like this primer. I don't think it's as good as the Stila one because the Stila one, I can definitely tell that it brightens up my face and it reduces redness around my cheeks. And this one does that, but it just doesn't do it as much. But it doesn't have that like silicone -y feeling a lot of primers have, and I completely hate that. I know a lot of people do enjoy it, and the um, Benefit Professional kind of has that like satin finish, but I find it so weird. Like it doesn't feel natural on the skin, and I want something a little more like skin-like, I guess, and this is definitely a really, really good option. Plus, there's a lot of product in this, which is one complaint I have about the Stila one. It looks like there's tons, but when you really start to use it, like on a daily basis, it runs out really fast. So if you have a coupon code or you're just interested in trying a new primer, I definitely recommend checking this one out. My next favorite is another Tarte product, and it is the Rainforest After Dark Color Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. And it is limited edition, but I have seen it on all the websites still, so you can definitely still get it. And the packaging alone is beautiful. It has this really cool gold snake, and it has this little like rhinestone on its head. And the colors are amazing. It has three eye or six eyeshadows one blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. And they all work really well together. I have it on my eyes today, and I just wrote a blog post about it if you want to see a close-up and see more swatches. But the pigmentation is amazing. It's super creamy. They're really easy to use. It's not the cheapest palette out there, but it's also not the most expensive. I think it's about $38, and you get like a whole face right here. You get the blush, which is a really soft, pinky, like um, peach tone. And then there's a really soft highlighter. The bronzer is a little orange. It's my, like the only thing that I really don't like in the palette, but I do have it on my cheeks today and it's not terrible if you blend it out, but it is a little bit orange and you kind of got to work at it. But everything else is wonderful. So glad I got it. Fun fact, this next product was actually the first high-end beauty product I purchased and I kind of got pushed to the side and ignored for a while by the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I've rediscovered it this month and I have been loving it. It is the Bobbi Brown Corrector and I am in the shade Light Bisque. And it just does an amazing job covering under eye circles because it is like a peachy concealer. It's not just like tan and it has like pink undertones so it does a really great job canceling out the purples and it lasts all day and it's really cute. The packaging is amazing as Bobbi Brown does. And I'm just really glad that I gave it another chance. I've been looking at it and like going, ah, it's not as good as the NARS one, but it's definitely a lighter option. And with the summer being so hot, it's just so much easier to use this than the NARS. Finally, I'm including this last product, although I've loved it for way more than just this month. It is the MAC Lipstick and Syrup. And I am on this tiny little nub and I don't want to use it because I love it so much, but I know I can just go and purchase another one. It is by far my most worn lipstick. I've never gotten anywhere close to using up a lipstick like I have this one. It is a really nice, like, plummy shade without being too in your face. It's not plumful, I guess, for a lack of a better explanation, but it's really easy to wear. It's a nice everyday color. You don't need a mirror to apply it, which I personally love because when I'm at my desk at work, I don't want to, like, whip out my cell phone because I don't have a mirror to like apply a lipstick or go to the bathroom because it's like way across the hall. Like not across the hall but like across the floor. It's just really easy to use and I really enjoy using it and I'm definitely going to repurchase this when he finally stops being just this little nub and he has to say goodbye. So those were my August favorites. Let me know in the comments below what products you have been loving this month and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!